the Lemonsky family. You guys were asking, what does it look like? And do we offer private rooms for people that may not want to share? Yes, you're right. I do talk a lot about the shared environment because the population that we serve, they can't afford their own house, their own apartment, and a lot of times not even their own private room. So 90 to about 95% of the guys at our house, Mr. and Mrs. L, I'm going to just put it that way, they are in that shared room where you're going to see the two beds per room. But this is a great example of what of a lot of our people that are now calling for. Miss Patricia, it's now the military veteran. It's the guy that's got a job at Walmart, at McDonald's, at Sonny's Barbecue, at Outback Steakhouse, at the gas station. He's the substitute school teacher. But he wants a private room with, with, with a lock on the door because he's not like my other people. So in this one model, Mrs. and Mrs. L, Mr. and Mrs. L, it's actually three different ways that you can be housed in it. So it's called an independent living facility. And if you forget that, just call it shared housing. But within this one model, there's three different choices. One is the room that you're looking at now. Some of the pictures that I'm going to show you guys can be shown as a private room, but some of these same rooms have their own bathroom. That's the difference. So for number one, and I'm going to start with the private room. Private room means you have your own bed and your own bathroom, and you don't have to share the bathroom with nobody if you don't want to. Now, I have a lot of guys that I have private rooms with that I rent to that they don't mind being a buddy or, or, or a good person to their guy down the hall that needs to use the bathroom, but the other bathroom's being used. This guy's got a private room. He don't have to share that bathroom, but most of my people that have their own bathroom, they allow other people to use it. No problem. 